the difference uh, between <coughs> the two. Okay. So uh, that's where uh, I think that more or less discuss. We kind of uh, finish the discussion on the, on the lookup, right? Uh, but before we sign off and before we, we uh, finish, we complete the discussion on the lookup functions. Let's quickly have a look at the H lookup. Okay, so this is this is H. Uh, you know, this is the horizontal arrangement of data with the rows. So here, as I told you, uh, we need to use H lookup, right? So you write H equals to H lookup. Okay, um, you get a lookup value, right? Let's say you want to search for 400, right? Now, table array is this this is the table array where you have your data right so in the h lookup in the case of h lookup excel will or v lookup will start looking from the first row right first row or the topmost row same thing in, in, in case of v lookup it was the first column leftmost column in the case of h lookup it's the uh, first row or the topmost row so then therefore the row Three, the row three here, three is the is row number one. This is row number two. This is row number three. So if you need uh, to, to find out the price, so your row index number is now three. So this is the difference. Instead of in in, in case of V lookup, you had column index number. Uh, in this case, you have row index number, which is obviously quite uh, easy to understand. And then if you go for exact match, you give a zero, right? So this is what you get. Um, and I'll quickly also show you uh, the, uh, the the way you want it. But the way you would be using uh, approximate search with HLOOKUP. So let's say 523. Um, and then you can select this. Ready realist by now, the answer would be <coughs> 600 because 500 is the largest number which is less than equal to 523. So, this is what is H lookup. Uh, I hope uh, this will clarify uh, or help you better appreciate the use of V lookup.